This is Scott. Um, this will be a quick walkthrough on how to build a simple camera app in Android Studio. So I'm going to go over here, create a new project. I'm going to call this counter tutorial. We're going to put the minimum SDK to um, API 16, Jelly Bean. And we're going to start with an empty activity. And in the activity, main activity, as usual. And make sure the generate layout file is checked. OK, so once Android Studio loads up, you'll be taken to the Java file screen. But first, you want to add buttons. So go over to your activity main file. And if you ever exit out of this by accident, you just press project here. Go under resources layout and there will be the file and uh, switch over to text mode you may uh, when you first open it it may go to this mode but we're going to be using text mode for this walkthrough and let's open the preview window over here okay so first thing we want to do is that is we want to create a linear layout so use this bracket type in linear and you can see here you can press enter to uh, all of fill in the layout and we set that to match parent and what this does is means that the height and width of this linear layout will match the parent, which is right now the relative layout because it is inside the relative layout. And we're going to set the orientation of this layout to be vertical. This means that everything placed inside the layout will be placed vertically. You can also do horizontally if you want. But for this tutorial, we will do vertical. Now let's add some buttons. Tab button, use the brackets, B, start spelling a button, and it'll fill, come up with the autofill option up here. Press enter. And for the button, we're going to say wrap content, wrap co content for the width and height. And what this does is that it means that the button will resize based on the text inside the button. And let's set the text to plus button. Next, we want a uh, text view to display the number as the button because when we press the button, we want a number to count up. And in order for that number to show, we need to, to display it in a text view. So use this bracket, start writing text view, press enter. We also want wrap content for this. And for now, we'll just set the text to equal zero. Next, we want the minus button, so use brackets, B-U-T-T-O-N, wrap content, and set the text to be um, minus button. As you can see, I'm using the autofill uh, option quite a bit, so uh, if text kind of just magically appears, I'm just pressing enter to use the autofill. Now you can see, since the orientation is vertical, the buttons are placed vertically. If I said horizontal, the buttons will be placed horizontally. So now um, let's center the buttons in the middle of display. So in the parent layout, which is the relative layout, we're going to set gravity to be center. And then we're going to set the linear layout that gravity equal center. And you see every, all the buttons are now centered. But I also want to have some spacing between the buttons and the text view. So for the top button, I'm going to say margin, bottom, sorry, margin, let's go down to layout margin bottom. I'm going to set it to 50 dp. Now the 50 dp is kind of like the unit for sizing things in Android Studio. So we're going to do something similar with the bottom button, except we're going to say margin top 50 dp. Actually, let's make it 70 dp. Now also, the text view number 0 is pretty small, so we're going to increase the size. So you see text, size, see the all, all the fill in right there. I'm gonna, let's try 30 SP. 
Now while dealing with fonts, use SP instead of DP. Remember um, that difference. <clears throat> uh, let's make it big, bigger still. 70. Okay, that looks good. Next, we want to we want um, every time we press the pr the plus button, we want the text view value to increase by one. So what we're going to do is going to go to the top button, the plus button, type in on, click, and we're going to just type in plus button clicked. What this means is that when this button, the plus button, is clicked, it will call the me the method plus button clicked. And um, to create the create, but as you can see in the main activity, we do not have a method called plus button clicked. So to quickly create a method, you can just go to this light bulb here and press create plus button clicked view in main activity. So you can see now we have a method called plus button clicked. And when the plus button is clicked, it will call that, that um, method. Let's also do that for the minus button. Minus button clicked. Create the method in the main activity. Okay. So now we have two methods, both of which are called on when the respective buttons are clicked. So first we're going to go up here and we're going to create a private int counter value. And set to start off at zero. And um, this this integer this int will okay, will hold the value to be placed into this text view right here. So when a plus button is clicked, we want the counter value to increase by one. So counter value plus plus. And for the minus button, the value to decrease by one. So counter value minus minus. Now after the value has been increased or decreased, we want to set this int to be inside this text view. So in order to do that, we had to reference the text view in the code, the Java file. So in order to do that, first we need to set an ID for this text view. To set an ID, just go to the text view and type in ID, press the autofill in, autofill in the at plus ID forward slash, and then you could name the ID. For now, let's just call this um, counter text view. So now this text view can be referenced in the Java file under the ID counter text view. But before we can work on anything, we had to set, we had to bring that text view over to the Java file. So we're going to create a private text view. counter text view. Now as of right now, this text view has no value to it really. It has not yet been assigned that this text view with this ID is, has not been assigned to this text view that we have uh, inside the Java file. So to do that, we'll go on, we're going to go to the onCreate method, which is like the run method. And we're going to do um, counter text view equals, and you're going to put in text view here, find view by id, r dot id dot, then whatever you call the id over here, which was counter text view. It's counter text view. There we go. So now, all we got to do here is say counter text view dot set uh, set text counter value. Do it for this one. Now there's one problem with this right now. Right now the counter view text te counter text view dot set text is looking for a string to set the value to to this text view. But I'm pulling in an integer. And it so um, when you run this, it'll probably cause an error and cause the app to crash. So what you want to do is to type in string dot value of counter value, and what this will do is it will convert this in into a string, and it will allow the code to work dot value of counter value. 
And that's pretty much it. When you press the plus button, this value will increase and uh, 1 will display. Or if you press the minus, this value will decrease and display the subtracted value. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.